All right, we are back. We are in the midst of Shane McMahon versus The Undertaker. Uh, WrestleMania 32 special broadcast on ESPN right now. And ESPN has gone to commercial right before Shane McMahon takes one of the all-time iconic plunges in WWE and WrestleMania history. That's the commercial break. Uh, that's going to happen. Uh, after that happens, we are going to take a look back at the triple threat uh, for the WWE Women's Championship from WrestleMania 32, including Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte Flair, who's behind me. I don't know how to, uh, these things confuse me. But Charlotte Flair will be with us uh, to break down, as I said uh, a little bit earlier, one of the most, bar none, important WWE women's title matches of all time. Speaking of earlier, uh, I want to thank Zack Ryder, who's come on earlier. You can watch that in the Story Archive. I want to thank Rusev, who came on earlier. You can watch that in the Story Archive. This has been a ton of fun so far, as WrestleMania 32 broadcasts on ESPN. Uh... Speaking of WrestleMania, WrestleMania 36, the first ever two-day WrestleMania, the only WrestleMania too big for just one night, airs this Saturday, six days away, and then will air a week from tonight as well. Uh, two nights streaming on WWE Network. Uh, we're six days away from WrestleMania. That's bonkers. Shane is about to jump. I'm going to see if Charlotte is here. Uh, we can uh, get her thoughts on all things Shane. Not yet. That's okay. Uh, more than more than fine. Uh Wow, on my on my feet he just jumped, and what always strikes me about this is he's in the air for so long. It's um, it's actually unfathomable how long he's actually in the air for. It shows you just how ridiculously and absurdly high and tall. Uh, the Hell in a Cell actually is. Because he just doesn't land. Like, uh, I had semesters of college that were shorter than this fall. Um, yeah, it's just, they're showing the replays. It's just bonkers. Like, just genuinely unreal stuff out of Shane. Uh, we will, uh, we will forget, too, that they wrestle for a few more minutes after this. Uh, this is the, you know, it's not like Shane, uh, crashes through the table, uh, and the match is over. Uh, it actually did not end there. Unbelievable. I was, uh, covering this match in the office in Stanford, uh, on this night. And, uh, you know, it's WrestleMania and we're all watching the show, but we're all also like, you know, we're writing results and we're doing X, Y, and Z for the website and all that, uh, and I just remember the collective. No, 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 no. Like while he's walking, while he climbed up, and then the fall. Everything about it was genuinely um, just unbelievable. Um, Maria Menounos, I always enjoy, is in the first row. She there screaming, "Just get up, Shane!" Uh, there's there's a lot that goes into this. But again, uh, you know. Uh, Shane McMahon uh, has fight in him left after this. People can say whatever they want about Shane McMahon. Uh, but one of my all-time favorites, for reasons like we just saw, uh, diving 20 feet off Hell in a Cell, but then also that not being the end of him, uh, even after uh, such a thing. And uh, in terms of WrestleMania moments, I think out of the last you know, five or six you know, manias you know, of, you know, of this last cluster of manias, uh, Shane off the top of the cell, I think, is right up there. Right up there with, with the very, very best of them. Uh, hard to argue, quite honestly. Um, and so, uh, still no... Uh, we're going to get Charlotte here in a few minutes uh, to talk about what's honestly uh, one of my favorite matches ever. Uh, if you watch WWE's The Bump, you know that I am a very big Sasha Banks fan. Uh, I'm a big Charlotte fan as well. Uh, and uh, I think back on the WWE Women's Championship match very, very fondly that we're about to see uh, for a bunch of reasons. And I'm really excited to talk about all of those with Charlotte. Um, but we're not there yet. We're still on this match. And, yeah, man, you know, like, Shane is just a warrior. So is The Undertaker. That goes without saying, though. Um, but, like, Shane McMahon just did one of the craziest things any human being has ever done. And is moving. That's wild, yo. 
Uh, and then Undertaker with this on my feed, uh, like, you know, which had been Shane's calling card uh, throughout the entire match. Uh, and, and now get, gives it right back to Taker. Uh, this match was special. And people, and, you know, I, I watched it, I've watched it tonight, and I actually even watched it a little bit yesterday to get ready for all this. And uh, there's a lot to this match. Uh, the, the dive... What Shane does is what it will be remembered for, but there's a lot of elements that make this match very, very special. Uh, here comes the tombstone for me, uh, and, uh, you know, no such thing as a moral victory, especially at WrestleMania, uh, but Shane had nothing uh, to be, I mean, nothing to shake a stick at on this night. Shane McMahon uh, put on a performance against, you know, in reality, you know, uh, if Shawn Michaels is Mr. WrestleMania, uh, you know, The Undertaker is... It's a one in one a conversation between HBK and the Undertaker for who is the you know the most significant WrestleMania competitor, uh, and uh, Shane McMahon gave him an unreal fight. Let me take a sip of water here. I'm a little annoyed. I just got some water on my sock. That was a bummer. Um, but you know, uh, not, again, Shane, nothing, nothing but positive things to say about Shane on this night. Checking for Charlotte. Uh, I think we have Charlotte. I will try to get her in here in a second. Uh, doing my best. Instagram not always cooperating. But I think we're close. And we will get Charlotte in here. There we go. We're doing thing. Let's make it happen. Hello, Queen. Hello. How are you? Good. I'm staring at the poster. Yeah. Like, I wish I would have put mine up. <laughs> there you are. That's you. And Sasha. Yeah. Is, is this like Inception? Like you're looking at yourself? This is crazy. Yeah, I'm trying not to look at myself. I, I look we'll, at you. We'll get, we'll get you out of the frame. We'll, we'll make it happen <laughs> for you. I apologize. That, this is my this is No, my no, no. It's okay. Set. I just want to be like, oh, how, how am I? <laughs> One of the all-time <laughs> posters, in my opinion. Uh, how are you? Did you just watch Shane jump off the cell, by the way? I did. Um, now you had uh, you had already compete. Your match was right before this. Did you see that that night, or were you doing a thousand things after you guys had wrestled your match that you did not see that in the moment uh, four years ago? I I don't think I enjoyed any part of the show. I was just n not really watching. But now that highlight is in almost every package. Yeah, it's, so it's um, like a top ten moment in history, isn't it? Though. Like, yeah. I, like, I don't know. I was just saying right before you came on, he's just in the air for so long. Uh, and then he's not, which is horrifying. But he just keeps falling. I don't think falling. people really realize how high that is. It's at least 20 like, feet. But then you count, he's six feet tall. So that makes it, I'm not the best math guy, but that's you, 20. <laughs> like, right? Is that how that works? I, I mean, just the adrenaline and then not knowing, like, there's so many things that can go wrong. Yeah. Like, uh, one, no, it's one of just, the, he has crazy. no fear, obviously. I, unreal. I'm afraid of everything. Uh, so, uh, like, to see him do that is just bananas. Um, but, Queen, I'm super excited to talk to you about this match coming up here. Uh, I don't know if you heard me say, literally one of my all-time favorite matches. What I've done here, Charlotte, is I literally have popcorn ready. Uh, it's, a thing, <laughs> it's a thing that I've done. Um, and uh, I'm going to – but – uh, and I think we're going to have a commercial break before you, uh, before your match fires up here. I'm curious. I was watching and uh, getting ready to talk to you tonight. I was watching a lot of things. I apologize if I keep looking off screen. My TV's over there. I'm doing my best to juggle all no, these I'm things. No, I'm doing the same thing. All right, cool. This is perfect. None of, neither of us is being rude. Um, but uh, when you found out that this match was happening and when you found out that uh, the Divas Championship was going to transition into the Women's Championship, can you take me uh, through your thought process when you found out both of those pieces mm -hmm. of news? Well, okay, so before Mania, there was a picture going around on Instagram yep. of the front of the stadium. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why are people photoshopping me, <laughs> Sasha, and Becky <laughs> to the front of the stadium? <laughs> like, this is – because it was the first Mania, so to see all the coverage and the press and on social media, I wasn't thinking that we were going to be on the front of it and then Sasha – posted a picture like a selfie yep. of the stadium with us on and i was like not only oh, just that's on it. real front like, and center with, like you, that, with that. you being the very center 
you were like the that. center of the WrestleMania banner. Let's just call it what it was. That's like, you know, no, which is unreal. I yeah, I like that's when it felt real. But I think the key thing about WrestleMania 32 is I talk about this all the time. But when I won the Divas Championship from Nikki Bella, I didn't feel ready. Yeah. Um, but when the ref that night handed me the WWE Championship, I was like, okay, I feel ready. Like, yep. I feel like I can carry this and do it justice and move forward into whatever new era was about to happen. Right. And there's, I think there's so many interesting ways that you can, you know, when we think back on that night, um, was there a level of added pressure because it was the first, it was for the <sighs> women's title? I, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on this night for all three of you for a lot of reasons. This is at the height. Well, of I mean, women's... okay, so they had put so much... Okay, so like the new title, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the expectation of okay, these three these three girls had this incredible debut, and it kind of been like this. You didn't know where the story was gonna go, and then I beat cheated to beat Becky at Royal Rumble, and then inserted Sasha, and then all of a sudden it became a triple threat, and it was just like, okay, we have to steal the show. Yeah. Like there's no if ands and buts. It's just, um, yeah, and yep. just proving to everyone that, okay, we can, it's not just hype. Totally. Yeah, no. Like, it I, was, I, and it's funny, like, even watching this match, I'm going to try really hard not to, like, cringe because the three of us are completely different performers today. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like maybe I probably had the most to learn at that point, but... I mean, just work. You can't even compare. It's night and day. Which you yeah. think like, okay, they're ready then. No, we're ready now. Like I wish I hear we could that. go back in time. Yeah, I hear that. Uh, but it's interesting. And I was saying this earlier uh, with, with Zach, I believe, but especially when you, all three of you come out, uh, you can just see it in your faces that all three of you feel as though you have so much to prove. It's like even just visible and walking out that night. And at that time, you know, uh, things had already changed uh, exponentially at this point for the women. But there was still, in a lot of ways, I feel like, especially for you the three, feeling as though there was a lot to prove. Oh, yeah. I mean, the fact that we were on the front of AT&T Stadium, I mean, it was 101,000 people. Yeah, isn't that wild? Like, <laughs> I mean, I get nervous. Like, we... <laughs> I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have to wrestle in front of 100 people. I don't know how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> but 101,000, it's like, okay, no problem. Yeah, uh, no, but for sure. It's like, like, I... I Sasha and Becky didn't probably feel this, but I'm like, man, I got my dad out there with me. Yeah. Like, I really have to prove that I didn't get here and earn this because he's beside me. Totally. Like, I get that. And I don't even think people even really remember that he was out there. They just remember, oh, my gosh, she has a robe. And it's crazy to, like, look back and go, oh, that's her first robe. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's moment. funny you say that, though, because uh, two, two questions. I'll start with this one, though. We had yeah. – uh, we had Sasha on the bump a few weeks ago, and we brought on Norman Smiley to talk to her. And Norman made a point, uh, and I, I love Norman, but he made a really, like, really insightful point that I'd never thought of before. We're watching Sasha come out with Snoop Dogg right now. Snoop Dogg and your dad are literally two of the biggest stars in the history of America. However, on this night, they were the backup. They you. were the eye candy. Yeah, isn't that, like, isn't that, yeah. was, was, it didn't ever cross my mind that way until Norman said it a few weeks back. But isn't that, like, crazy to think about? And just shows you all, how already, at this point, how far the women's division had come and really has just grown, uh, you know, tremendously since. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard to enjoy things, though, in the moment. Like, yeah. looking back, because it's been just go, go, go. It's, I had no idea what to expect after that mania. Right. No, I get it. Uh, yeah. uh, and, and I mean, you, uh, I mean, what came, I believe what came right after is uh, I was watching uh, 24 yesterday. It was the Today Show. And you said you were more nervous to go on the Today Show than you were to wrestle in front of 101,000 people. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I can't mean mug people. <laughs> you can't, what do you mean? You can't mean mug like... Al Roker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is, you mentioned. Well, no, because is... also too, like. I do so much uh, media. I, I feel like people are like, wait, is she in character or not? You never yeah. know. <laughs> like, because it's like, wait, is she a good guy today or a bad guy today? <laughs> yeah, I get that. And I think that's what kind of makes me nervous, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot to juggle. Um, yeah. but, 
but so yeah, that was like, you know, at the time, like that's a big deal going like also what just what a whirlwind of a twenty four hours, I imagine. This match, which has so much pressure to it. You got on a jet to go to the day show and then you had to be back on Raw later that night. So there's just like a lot to that. And at this point in your career, you probably weren't used to that type of uh, chaos just yet. Uh, so that's a lot for anyone, I feel like. Oh, yeah. I... Yeah. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, it's just, you know, it, it's just part of it. Like back then, totally. it, we weren't a split. Like it wasn't raw and SmackDown. Right. So I was prepared for the schedule, but it was just like, oh, this is like, okay, I'm winning. This is really happening. We're going. And then, you know, looking up to Rome and it's like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. And the title looks like his. Yeah. At that that point. belt was sweet. That belt, that yeah. title was so sweet. Yeah. Um, but uh, you mentioned your dad. I, uh, I'm curious. And, you know, this is the only WrestleMania to this day and possibly ever that you'll have. Um, on that night, but looking at it now, is it cool that he was there, that you got to experience his first WrestleMania with your dad by your side? You're breaking up, what? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, is this better? Yeah, what'd you say about my dad? Is it cool, this might be the only WrestleMania your father is ever in your corner for. I'm sure it added pressure on that night, but looking at it now, is it cool that he got to, that you got to experience well, yeah, your first WrestleMania? Well, yeah, because I had such, like, I still have a chip on my shoulder, but it's just like, you know, was I really the fan favorite and was it because of my dad and right, right, right. Just like, it's just a chip on the shoulder, but it's like, no, like I'm a performer. Like totally. This, 100%. Yeah. So, uh, uh, when but I mean, you... I don't think I'd be where I am today. Had I not had the pressure of him by my side when we finally, when I finally turned uh, into the bad guy after I debuted. Right. Like, it yep. was just so much pressure with him out there every night. I'm like, how do I do this? Yeah. So it was just such a growing experience. Totally. When did you come up with the idea to use, or I'm assuming it was your idea, portions of his WrestleMania 24 robe for your robe here at 32? Where, where, where was the genesis of Like, three months before. Oh, wow. And it's crazy, like, in NXT and even before then, I never thought about using a robe. And now it's, like... Like, all I need is my entrance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's over after that. <laughs> yeah. Um, this was uh, the first time, that, obviously, that you had wrestled in front of a, a crowd this big. Uh, and we're going to see it here in a minute. But what is it, when you take those first steps out in at t Stadium, uh, was it overwhelming? Uh, did you feel right at home? Honestly. Yeah, please. On Sasha's yeah. entrance, there was little, like, paper... Yeah. confetti yeah no and my boot, my <laughs> boots were slipping yeah. and i was like oh, how i'm about to bust my ass <laughs> like i'm like no my boots are slipping down the ramp i'm like how do i keep calm and look like the queen and not fall like i literally thought i was going to fall i mean luckily you're I also didn't. there's Becky's hats there too. Like, there's so many things you could have tripped there's so, on. no there's so many obstacles yeah I, yeah <laughs> like i don't like I don't know how to do this. Yeah, no. <laughs> so you, ma you made it happen like a champ. It makes sense. Oh. You were literally the champ. Um, but uh, uh, And also, too, I was like, I really hope my dad doesn't cry as we're walking down. Didn't happen. Not that I could tell him. Did I watched, yeah. No. He, he held it together. Um, I have a question, and we're going to get there in a second. I, have, I was thinking about this as I watched this yesterday, because as I said, I was getting ready to talk to you. But yeah, here is all this confetti real quick. Uh, There's this really, confetti. This really is unreasonable. They expected you to do this. I, I mean, like, you, but again, you handled it like a total pro. <laughs> don't fall! Don't fall! Don't fall! <laughs> <laughs> Concentrate. Slow yeah. down. Here There's we go. Screamers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what a shot! Uh, I, I, the whole thing's great. Um, but uh, as now you make your way closer to the ring, and I, I don't know if uh, this has been talked about much, but I'm very curious. Is the flip? Ent entrance gone. Is, will we ever see you flip on your way to the ring again, or is that permanently retired? I just one day walked to the ring, and I was like, I'm tired of doing this. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I just, I'm like, I'm over this. I mean, it's, it's a lot less strenuous what you do now, and equally as cool. Well, no, it's a... Like... I could be, but I'm not. But I like, I could be like flippy, 
in the ring. You're but arguably I just, the best just, athlete I just felt like I've outgrown it. Yep. Like, it's, it's yep. just, it's not needed. Yep. Yep. I, yeah. I love both entrances equally. I have no issue with either. Like, exactly. you know what? Maybe, like, on one raw, I'll, like, pull it out and be like, hey, guys. What do you think? <laughs> do it, yeah. I'll mention it on the bump. It'll be a whole thing. Let us know. Yeah. yeah. I just, I don't know. Like, I just felt. Um, no, totally understandable. Um, what's going through your head at this point? I mean, like, you know, so much build up to this. We've already talked a little bit about it, but, but all three of you are now in the ring. You've been on the roster since the previous, uh, the main roster since the previous summer. Um, are you just ready to do the darn thing at this point? Um, I think he's just trying to hear the crowd at that point, like how loud yeah. they were going to be, where they're at. Yeah. Um, I, I've, yeah, sorry. No, no, just with the ceilings that high, it's such a different like, feeling yep. when you're in there and listening. It's so different. Totally. I, and I've said this to a few people already tonight, but uh, yeah, the acoustics and everything in these massive stadiums Oof. are so different. But this crowd really did seem, there's an electricity throughout this entire night, yeah. and it's definitely present in this match. As we get going here, I'm curious, though, uh, uh, for you, on your end, uh, do you prepare differently for a triple threat than you would a one-on-one? -on -one? Like, you know, you had weeks and weeks to know that this was going to be the match, but I imagine it has to be a uh, different prep, yeah? Different prep at that point. And at that point, I hadn't had that many triple threats. But now, I feel like that's my favorite kind of match because I've had the opportunity to do so many. Right. Like, right. me versus Becky versus Asuka. Me versus Becky versus Ronda. This triple, like, I feel like that's, I just have worked so many triple threats now where I think most of the time people find them hard, but I actually now don't mind them. Yep. Um, and although you hadn't had a lot of triple threats at this point, uh, having uh, faced off against Becky and Sasha so much. Yeah, and that made that all the difference. Yeah. Just because, yeah, we came up together. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Uh, I, I will I will pepper in questions throughout this, but if anything catches yep. your eye, please tell me to pipe down and the queen shall speak. Well, and uh, another thing that I think made this, like, at this point, there was, like, we were trying to become stars, like, make names yep. for ourselves. So knowing your role in this match, that was another thing. Like, now, like, you can say we're all three stars, so it's a little yep. easier. Yeah. We do a lot. <laughs> No, yeah. I think that goes. I think that goes back to having so much to prove. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I I just saw the hurricane run from Sasha. I don't know if I'm ahead of you or not. No, but, no, uh, we're the same spot. Oh, perfect. This is fun. Yeah. Uh, it's. Uh, I I feel like also, and I I imagine this was intentional. Uh, this is a nonstop start to this match. So granted, it's a triple threat, so it lends itself to action. But yeah. so much happens here in the early goings. Again, I just feels like you. Well, that's what I mean. Like just so much to prove off yep. the bat. Yep. Yeah, like people had to get invested right away. Yep. Like now, you know, everyone knows before that, like before this mania, did everyone know who Charlotte, Becky and Sasha were? Right. Like now yeah. they do. So totally. it is a different time. I mean, at this point, like I said, you had not even been on the main. What was then the main roster? Yeah, uh, not even know. a year yet. No, no. Yeah. Uh, and so, I mean, I, it does. Uh, again, I, I can remember, you know, I was already working with the company at this time, but yeah, the there was the people were anticipating the match because all three of you had already had such classics in NXT, but there yeah. was just again so much to this match, uh, and that it just it added a level of anticipation. Uh, that was a rather gnarly thing you just did to Sasha. Oh, I need to bring that back. <laughs> that, was, that was that was rather cool. Uh, <laughs> Rhea Ripley better be ready. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so and that's interesting. You just mentioned Rhea. Uh, we've talked so much about how you felt on this night. Uh, now, granted, the circumstances of this year's WrestleMania are going to be like any other before, but do you imagine how you felt on this night is similar to how Rhea will feel uh, this coming weekend? And do you think that gives you a distinct advantage that she's going to have to deal with so many of those first Mania jitters, if that's, what, that, that's how it will manifest itself? So... Even though I hate the jitters, yeah, uh, delivering under pressure is something I think I do really well. Yep. And looking at her career with being thrown in the May Young Classic, and then be you know from UK NXT to now 
NXT here. Looks like she delivers under pressure really well. Yeah, I would agree so, with that. Um, I'm hoping that, like, I, I want her to feel that pressure. She should feel yeah. that pressure. Yep. I think because we'll only you either sink or you too. swim, and that's like one of those things. Like we have to throw you into the deep end, and we got to see what you can do. Yep. Like that's what she should want. Yep, for sure. Have you trained for this match with Rhea any differently? It's it's not. It's more rare than not that you are facing someone who compares to you in, in physical stature. Uh, typically, oh, I you love have, it. That's I yeah. love that part of it. Yeah. Uh, I do love that part, but no, I haven't. Um, train differently it's really just seeing you know going back to nxt you know to have to continue the story has been uh a lot of fun yeah it's like i wish i knew then what i know now it's like mm -hmm. so crazy yeah um and like i feel like it, it, wrestlemania being at the pc only adds another level of specialness oh, yeah, that was it. the first class yeah yeah that's what's crazy yeah. And NXT homegrown. So first, yeah, it's, but like to me though, like for Rhea, like I know she's thinking, oh, my first mania is not in a stadium of 80,000 people, but there's going to be millions watching around the world. Oh yeah. And when you like think about it, like having the opportunity, just like no one's like, if you can captivate an audience without 80,000 people, like, your star totally so yeah. i love the like extra element and especially for our story being at the pc yeah yeah 100 percent. like i'm gonna and teach I mean, you some respect <laughs> well i mean that, <laughs> you that guys have back, lost it that goes back to the, the, the claims of you don't even go here like you were literally the first class you were an fcw ring announcer yeah. for goodness sakes you know yeah. uh it uh it, it adds it, it adds a, a I'm very like, what nice... are you guys even talking about i don't go here <laughs> And it's the same people. <laughs> um, but no, I, I think it will definitely um, add an extra level. And there's the full circle element to that, too, for you yeah. and, and, and for Rhea, though. And, it's, and for Rhea. Yeah. Because I don't think I, not many people know this, but I, I could tell you after the match, but I actually helped open the UK, the UK NXT facility, and I said – I mentioned her name as like people like coming up and then here we are a year later. It's crazy. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. And I think there's something very, very cool as we get back to the match, but very, very cool about the first ever NXT women's title match in WrestleMania history. Yes. And it'll be at the performance center. I think it's, I mean, yeah. it's cool that that's happening in general, but it's very yeah. cool that it will happen. Now. That confetti is still everywhere, by the way. <laughs> it's on my shoulder. <laughs> um, I was asking, I asked Zach Ryder this earlier. How many times uh, have you watched this match back, if you had to guess? This match, not many, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Is it, are you more likely to not watch your stuff back? I don't know. I just never went back to the, I think because I've like learned so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Oh, fair I'm answer. watching it, wanting to critique it, but I'm trying not to cringe. I'm like, oh, I, I love this match for whatever for whatever my meaningless opinion is worth. I, I absolutely no. It had match. some like this. I love this. The frog splash onto the figure four. Uh, there's there's a lot to it. I you know uh, Becky is going to go after someone other than you or Sasha in a few minutes. There's there's a lot of fun stuff in this match. Oh yeah. Um, and like I said, I mean, like, you, you know, know, it's crazy watching it. I remember it. Like, I know what's next. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, and again, the, 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 the WWE universe is with this from the jump. Uh, oh, yeah. Because like, I don't think they knew, like, who was going to win. Like, technically, all three of us could win. Yeah, there was, there was no clear favorite. And especially when you add in the women's title, like, you know, it could have gone any which way. Yeah. Uh, and so, oh, oh. Yeah, no, they're they're in it. They're in it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff coming up in this match. And I, again, when I when I say this is one of my my favorite matches, I just I just think the match itself. Uh, and we've already talked about it a little, but I don't think you can underestimate the importance of this match. Uh, and I I think though the match and this is not 
this isn't, I'm just not just saying this because you're here. It would have been important no matter what, but the three of you went out there and delivered, and that makes it doubly yes. important and in the match. Show, like, wh what we proved was that uh, you can, oh, what's the word? Uh, consistent and reliable. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, many people, Queen, say that this was their favorite match this night, you know? So, I mean, that's. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's as and consistent and reliable. Know that, as you like, we can tell a story. Too. Yep. Like, that's, I think, was super important. Totally. And as I'm watching it now, again, I, I know I mentioned this off the top, but really, that pace you guys established in the beginning really never lets up. No. Uh, it really does not. Uh, just nonstop. Can you explain to me something, Queen? How did yeah. Sasha do that? I've watched that a thousand times. Uh, how, how did she, do, uh, like, sure, she, her body contorts like at the last possible second she's so little <laughs> no <are> she... <laughs> she really like she, like she well no and That's... athletic but yeah i've never seen a dive quite like that it was just like uh, uh, and uh now uh I've i'm like a... watching like i don't even know if i'd be able to see to fit through the ropes <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious, too. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's another dive unlike any other. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was mentioning earlier. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, my yeah, there's gosh. Just, there's just a lot of layers to this match. Uh, you know, your poor father. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting him back for that heinous kiss at Royal Rumble. Yeah, that wasn't ideal. That was that, that, that wasn't, was not ideal. That wasn't ideal. Um, now, listen, every, everyone knows what's coming, and I want you to tell us what this. Um, I want to talk about the actual moonsault, but when I think we have enough time, when did you discover that you had one of the best moonsaults on planet Earth? Was it early into your training? You know what's fu what's funny about this was, I wanted to do it at NXT. They were like, "No, it's too dangerous." Yeah. Um, what a thing of beauty. But I, I think now, like, in hindsight, it was like, no, it was meant to, you know, wait till this. Yep. And the year so, later, you'll bust out the corkscrew. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm like, actually, the corkscrew is way better than this one. <laughs> I, well, I mean, they're, they're also, different. The other thing is, we, like, no one had really seen, seen so much athleticism from all three girls on the, like, at WrestleMania. So that's what made it even more, like, wow. Like, you see Sasha's dive, Becky's dive, my dive. Yep. So I yeah. think that even made it bigger. Totally. Uh, but as, while I have you here, legitimately, possibly the best moonsault on planet Earth. That's, that's yours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's, yeah it's, it's the best. Um, and so like, we, we talk about the crowd, but, like, are you, are you so in the moment at this point that are you, you're hearing the crowd, but, like, at this point and now in 2020, it's commonplace to hear uh, the WWE Universe so invested in a women's division match. But as you're pinning these women right now, are you, are you like cognizant of the fact like, wow, they're really with us? No, I think, I mean, I, I know I'm feeling it, but I still go like, I can tell in little moments where I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Where like <laughs> now, like I'm playing with my gear, I'm moving my hair. I'm like, what are you doing, rookie? <laughs> What you doing? <laughs> it's it's fun to watch you watch this because it's yeah I can I can see just like your how your head is spinning in terms of what you would do differently these days. Oh gosh, yeah, like and then just can't yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. Yeah, man. man it's, again, like you know, and it's it's a benefit of having three people in the match, I presume. But yeah, the the pace just never lets up. No, that was such a cool spot, though. Yeah, that's that's really dope. Right into uh, this yes. Yeah, because, like, the crowd was, ju like, just behind Becky as Sasha. So it really could have gone either way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean like, the reactions were there for each, like, in, like, you, like each finish. Yep, totally. Totally. But, no, I, I, you brought that up a few minutes ago, and I think it's true. It's like, you know, no one had, like, you know, Sasha had a lot of momentum. Becky was at this point already a huge fan favorite. You had been on a multi-month title reign. Uh, it's like this, there was no clear-cut favorite. That like is here a, on, on Sasha's finish. Like, yeah. you just don't know. 
Totally. That's a gnarly bank statement, by the way. That did not look fun. Uh, like, you know, uh, that was, that could have been it right there. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you just don't. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just vibing out, Dallas. This is fun. What's what going through your head watching With this? your gear. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <laughs> trying to bridge into it. Uh, it, it. There's just a lot of layers to this match, though. Your dad recovered, so that's good. He's recovered from Becky's dive. Yeah, he, he's back. But, like, okay, I even forgot that he was out there. Like, and he's a yes. part of my kid. Yeah. That's what's crazy. I mean, he plays a part at the very, very end. But, like, other than the dive and that very, I mean, like, you know, it's like uh, everyone was, uh, and you just proved it, everyone was supremely focused on what was going on in the ring. Yeah. I mean, that, the stadium, I was on fire. Yeah. A nice little chop off here. Also, too, like. Yes, please. Thinking how far we've come in terms of, like, I'm looking at this. This was how long ago? How much time? Like. Four years. 15-minute match, right? Y yeah. Uh, roughly 15, 16 minutes, yeah. Yeah. Which is a lot of time for anyone on a WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, yeah, and plus grand entrances, which only add, you know, like, probably yeah. from, you know, from start to finish, this is 20, 20, 25 minutes or so. Big yeah. spear. I might be a second or two ahead, but, oh. Ugh. <laughs> 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 this is fun. Um, like, why I, uh, did I not try to win there? Well, I mean, Sasha gets out of there. I mean, so, no, I, I don't think that that's not on you. Uh, and, Becky, and Becky was already up and at him. Um, now, I watched this... I watched this yesterday, Queen, so I know what's coming. But I got to tell you, and I just spit out some popcorn. I apologize to the viewing audience. Um, but uh, this, is, uh, this is quite the thing that's about to happen here. I would be curious for uh, your thoughts as to what uh, you're thinking about as this is about to happen. Does Becky just – it's just that – Sasha ends up in the uh, the proverbial tree of woe, and then Becky just t bones me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is this is a a, a big moment in the match, and uh, I, I have think you, it... have, had you done many things like this yet at this point, taken uh, a fall such as this. Man, that's big. Uh, not at this point in my career, no. Yeah, I mean that's that's a uh, yeah. uh, well, I've taken the Bailey to belly off the top. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yep, yep, yep. So. Those two would probably that would have been equal. Yep. At, yeah. Well, and it's like you think like I'm much bigger than both of them. Mm -hmm. Going off the top anyway is unnatural. Like, be yeah. me being taken. Yeah, is, I know what you mean. Uh, now, Queen, uh, we're about. This is about to happen here. Uh, I. Some sh now listen, some shenanigans. I cannot lie. There were some uh, wonderful win. However, some shenanigans. Yeah, exactly but it just how, it just was like when I turned on my dad later. A yeah, months later, <laughs> he did. He, he did he help me at like, WrestleMania. Thank you for helping me win at WrestleMania. But now I don't need you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, I didn't need him. Like five yeah, times. Yeah. <laughs> um, but regardless of that. Uh, and all of my biases aside, uh, you just won the women's championship, not the Divas championship, the women's championship at WrestleMania. What's going through your head? It's just like I said, like when we first started talking, I didn't feel ready when I won the Divas championship. Yep. So like when they handed me the title or when Rudy, the ref, handed me the title, I was like, okay, I feel like. you know, the superstar makes the title. Mm -hmm. oh, for sure. And that's how I felt that mo like in that moment. Yep. Now, despite, you, know, you talked a lot about how, you know, you would do things differently now, but having just watched this back in 2020, are you proud of this match? Like, yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm really proud of it. 
Yeah, again, it's yeah. one of my favorites, so I'm glad to hear no, you. No, it's that. one of my favorites too. No, it's just it. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, it's the greatest thing ever. No, 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 no. Um, I, I, I get it. I get it. But I, I remember this moment. I know the fireworks are about to go off and the holding yes, up the title. Are. I was just like, man, I did it. And that uh, was like, that was such a crazy feeling right there. Oh yeah, I bet. Those fireworks went off. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. No, I, I imagine it's got to be super rewarding too. I mean, in the short term, but also in the long term, it's like, you know, uh, only on the main roster. But like, this is, I feel like in a lot of ways, like the first culmination of your journey is, is a moment like that. Yeah. There's been many since, yeah. but that was the first. No, I, I think like, who knows where I would have been now had the had that not gone that way. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, so, well, I get that. Um, it's crazy to think. Uh, that was super fun to watch that with you. No, thank I, you. I feel very honored. Uh, and so, I mean, but now, uh, new challenges await. WrestleMania this weekend. Yeah. NXT Women's Title Match. First NXT Women's Championship so Match. So, okay, if I yeah. win, yes. does that make me the 11-time Women's Champion, or am I still at 10? Oh, I, math How is that going to work? Math is not my thing, Queen. I don't know. I, 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 I'm just a, <laughs> I'm a dumb talk You know, I wanted host. to ask an expert. I, no, that's not. That's not, I'm a dumb talk show host. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, hey, you're a champion in my book. Uh, Miss Charlotte WWE on Twitter. Charlotte WWE on Instagram. That's Miss WrestleMania. I just talked with her. That was super cool. Charlotte, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll Thanks. talk soon. Bye. All right. That was like, really, really cool. That's one of the cooler things I've done. Uh, all of this has been super cool tonight. Uh, we are going to stop down here for just a few minutes. Uh, and we will come back with King Corbin to talk about one of uh, the most important moments in his career, I would presume, uh, and definitely, without question, one of the biggest moments of, at this point, his very young career. I'm going to have some more popcorn. I'm making a mess. We'll be back. We'll talk soon. That was super cool talking to Charlotte, man. That match is awesome.